I believe in myself, my product, and my company, and my full intention is to sell you your next automobile. Hey, great day to you, YouTube. This is Anthony with Audi Huntsville, and today I'm going to be going over the Audi A5 Coupe, Sportback, and Cabriolet, and display some of the differences between these lovely vehicles. Um, if you're looking for a family option, the Sportback is excellent. We also have the Coupe. If you like a, a faster, speedier ride with a little less weight, and then of course, if you want to enjoy yourself with the top down, want to feel the breeze, we have the Cabriolet. So I am always at your service, 256 652 3760. I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Both sophisticated and sporty, the 18 Audi A5 Coupe is available in an array of advanced driver assistance technologies along with an optional manual transmission. Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto smartphone integration come standard on the A5 Coupe and is going to ensure you and your passengers stay connected at all stages of your journey. The A5 Coupe is the most uh, the most iconic A5 option. Most people are going to be familiar with the A5 Coupe over all the others. It can come with an S-Line package and typically the S-Line package is going to come with a double spoke five star wheel. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you can you know, get this vehicle an array of different options and the A5 Coupe, although it's going to share the 252 horsepower amongst all three options, uh, they're all going to have the dual overhead cam four cylinder engine and of course it's going to be turbo fuel stratified injected. Um, the Coupe is actually going to be just a little different from the others. Um, they're, they're all somewhat the same you know length is right at 184 inches with an additional two inches on the sport back and then the wheelbase is almost the exact same at 108 inches with 111 inches on the sport back speaking of the sport back in itself uh, the Sportback is the newest addition to the A5 family, the number one selling sedan within Audi as of right now. And this is going to combine a sleek, coupe-like design with the versatility of four doors and a large hatch area. So this is going to offer the most cargo area. Um, the A5 delivers an entirely new blend of performance. And with the rear seat backs, you know, seat backs folded, the A5 Sportback offers 35 cubic feet of cargo space. And it definitely stands out. Now, all of these are based off of the Audi A4, the original, the seven-speed S-Tronic dual-clutch transmission, um, or of course the available six-speed manual. Um, Quattro is going to be an option on the A4, where there's a standard on the A5s. Um, so for those who want something a little sleeker, they typically go to the A5. And last but not least, out of the four, you have the A5 Cabriolet. The A5 Cabriolet is going to give you a top-down, a top-down driving experience. Um, this is going to offer you an acoustic folding roof that can basically raise uh, within 20 seconds at speeds up to 31 miles per hour. Um, and it also has an available neck and level heating. So if, depending on what's going on, uh, you can still enjoy yourself in the wintertime as well. So you don't have to only have it within that summertime. With that acoustic top, uh, you know, you, you're not going to hear the road as much. They've uh, designed to be as loud as the sedan itself. Um, meaning the A4, and it, it, it definitely stands out. Uh, the A5 Cabriolet is smooth with a smooth finish going all the way down the back end. Um, it's got about the exact same room as the coupe, and for those who just want to be a little different, you have the Cabriolet. Move over RS3 and RS5. We got an A3 to sell.